Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video I want to show you how to create a telescoping image. That's an image that's cut and embossed several times with nesting dies and layered on top of each other for dimension. For my sample I used the, to cut the image, I used the large classic oval dies from Spellbinders and the image is from Flourish's Autumn Blossom set. To begin you, you'll need two of the same images and of course the nesting dies and you start with placing your largest die over your image and adhering it in place with dimensional adhesive. Place the second die inside and then the third and adhere the third one in place again. The second one is just as a guide so you space them at the same distance. Then you take the second die out and cut these layers with your die cutting machine. Then you take the layers apart And I like to use the smaller one that I cut as a guideline so I know I will layer my dies the right way and place this. You can take this on if you want just for a second. And you know what's better if you use a repositionable adhesive? You don't have to do that, but this way I know my second layer that I'm cutting next will work perfectly with the one I have cut. Um, there. So I put my smaller die back over it and then work the next one over that. And then I tape this one with my repositional adhesive take this one take my cut layer out place this one in here again as a guide and then the fourth or smallest die and you don't have to use four dies I usually like to use three dies so my layers are a little bit bigger but the photo tutorial shows four so I will show four as well and again, take that one in place and take the middle die out just to make sure it doesn't move and then uh, run that through your die cutting machine as well. Now you take those layers apart as well and I already take, took the tape off in the break so it doesn't take that long. Now you can either assemble your image like this now or if you have a white showing like I do here, I like to, as you can see here, sponge my pieces just to add a little bit more dimension. And for that I like to place my die back over my card stock as a stencil and just sponge the edges. And here I'm using tumbled glass distress ink. my first layer done and I think I only need to do a second and maybe a little bit of the third because the third the fourth one is just all image the 
This will help distinguish the layers a little bit better too because the part that I'm not sponging, the outer part, will act, the white, will act as an extra border. So I have my second one. I love, I love to sponge my images at, after I've cut them with uh, nestability styles. Okay, so now we're almost done. All we need to do now is it's like a puzzle. You need some dimensional adhesive. Add it to the outer part of each of the layers. And then start adhering your image on top of each other, your layers on top of each other. And like I said, it's a little bit like a puzzle, especially with this image, because they're so many ah, so many images in this image. Okay, so then we'll get the next layer and the next. Then the last one and then you're done. Okay. Let's see. It's easy and it looks very uh, different. I like this technique. Okay. There. And then you just use it on your cart. I hope you try it out. See you next time.